Now let's understand the use layout effect hook of React. Use layout effect hook is very useful for DOM updates. We can use it for DOM measurements, just like the scroll position or style for a specific element. The use layout effect hook works synchronously. So it runs immediately after the React has performed all DOM mutation. It will run after every render, but before the screen is updated. Use effect and use layout effect share the same function signatures, meaning the API exposed to the developer are similar in both cases. So if you compare the use effect hook and the use layout effect hook, then you can notice both share the same signature. Both have the same syntax. We have the hook name and as a first argument, we are going to have the callback function. This callback function is executed when the component is mounted in the UI and using this use layout hook, this callback function is going to execute when the component is mounted in the UI but before the screen is updated. Now it is worth noticing that which function execute first. Can you answer this question? Which function execute first? Let's understand what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this use effect into a simple use effect hook and then I'm going to call here use effect layout and inside both this hook we are going to have this console.log message and don't forget to import both these functions at the top. So here I'm going to call import use effect use state, use layout, effect. Just out of that, I'm going to save all the changes. When I say this, you can see, first the use layout effect is going to execute and then we have the use effect. Now because use layout effect is executed before the screen is updated, that is why we have this hook console message before this use effect. Let me show you a simple example. At the top, let's suppose if I create a constant variable with use state and inside this div, Right here, I'm going to add a button, and to this callback function, I'm going to change the value of the set name. So I'm going to just call here set name and change the value of this name variable. When I save the changes, reload the browser. First, we have the use layout effect, and then we have use effect. When I click on this state update, when I update this state, let me show you what would be the result. When I click on the state update, we are going to have the same result because first, React is going to update the screen and mount the component in the UI. So we have this use layout first and then we have this use effect and if you specify here dependency something like this then this hook is only going to execute once let me save the changes reload the browser and when i click on the state update you can see it's only going to call the use effect hook. this is because we have here a dependency and now if i specify here name as a dependency then whenever the value of this name changes we're going to have this use layout hook in the console let me reload and change the value of this state. You can see we're going to have this use layout as a response. Now let's suppose that you want to repaint the UI and change the name. In that case, I'm simply going to call if and else condition right inside this use layout effect right here. And then I'm going to say set name John and I'm going to change the value of this state. Let me just remove this name right from here. I try to print here h1 name like this. Save the changes. When I reload the browser, I'm going to have John inside my UI. So there is not a big difference between use effect and use layout. I have a detailed video on use effect. You can check out that video from the top right corner of the screen or from the description. Just for now, let's understand the next step.